What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at AMD stock. So we'll take a look at the important key levels, the price section and also the play that we opened on AMD in the last couple of days. How is that playing out and where are we with that play? So I'll talk about all of that and what you can be looking for in the price section most importantly going from here after and you know part of our technical analysis that we'll be doing. So. With that, please note, none of this is any financial advice. And also, please hit the like and subscribe if you find my videos valuable and helpful. All right, guys. So, as you all know, we had hot inflation data come in today. And here's the details. Dow tumbles more than 500 points as hot inflation data stocks fears about higher for longer rates, guys. It's over. <laughs> Not just kidding. Well, so, guys, um, if you see it on QQ and SPY, this cool off was long time overdue, okay? I covered this in detail on my NVIDIA and Tesla videos that I did prior to this, so check those videos out. I'm not going to go too much detail on QQQ and SPY in this one. I also covered about one of the plays that we had open on SPY on the short side, how we made profits on that as well in those videos, so check those videos out, guys, definitely. So, AMD, let's start off with some of the articles here. So, we have Ms. Hu Ho adjusts price target on AMD to $200 from $175. So AMD has on an average the price ratings or targets from $135 to $270. Then, um, yeah, it's maintained by, there is nothing else that came out today, right? So we have another news. I don't know if you're interested in this, but AMD collaborating with JR, oh boy, Kaiyushu Railway to automate track inspection. All right, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. All right, guys, let's, let's get to the technical analysis, right? There's nothing much on there. Yeah, technical analysis is the king, okay? Or the queen, however you wanna say it. So let's talk about this play that we were in and what to do with this play, right? So um, so this play, we, we had one long play um, and then this was the short play right from let me go here. So this was the the play yesterday, and I don't. I, if you have seen my yesterday AMD video, um, our long play was right in this region. We got maybe like twenty five percent of the play, right, and then we had to close our position in that stop loss zone, and then we got into the short play. So this was the play already marked from the last uh, couple of my videos for the short play, as if the trigger events happen. So looks like guys, we hit our one of the significant levels, um, and this is technically around 66% of the range, right? So let's measure this. Let's measure this. All right, here we go. So down up from the entry, um, how much is it? Negative, well, when I say negative, I mean, you'll get the point. 5.16% and six, almost. So we hit almost the target of guys, our um, out of 6%, 5% we hit. So 85% of the profits we already got, Again, I'm not expecting anyone to take the profits at the bottom all, all at the right over here and there is no way you can do, but that's why we have these significant levels marked part of my indicator. If you're interested in my tools, guys, links are in the description below of this video to have access to it. These are the details, pause the screen, take a look at it and all that good stuff. Um, now, so I would say, yeah, so 85%, we already got the position booked out. I always suggest take some partial profits out at 33% and is, you know, however you wanna do it, 66% or so forth, and you got those all opportunities, right, on AMD. Um, and again, guys, it's the same thing. I'm not gonna introduce any new play right now on AMD. Um, what I might do is actually, you can in reduce down the stop loss area maybe because, um, which could be now at the level of 172. Okay, this could be your stop loss area now for the remaining 33% position. If you didn't take these profits, if you open the position and you didn't take these profits, you know, it's your responsibility. Again, anything you do in the stock market is fully your responsibility, your financial outcomes. I'm here only providing how I read the market, how I trade the market. I take guarantee of nothing and I take no responsibility of any financial outcomes of any of the things that I say. It's all for education purposes and how I trade the market. I'm here to share my opinions and uh, how my experience, right? So now this is where I would try to reduce down the stop loss for the reasons that I can see this is, this may turn a little bit bullish if it wants to. So <clears throat> what I mean by that, it may turn bullish. So if AMD 
starts to break above 200 hours moving average again and it gets out of the supply zones that i'm seeing and that's the level at 173 and 28 cents if it gets above that yeah guys uh this can continue up i i don't really see that but i'll talk a little bit more about it but what i you know really can see is that amd becoming choppy it, it does that it does that when it goes, when you start seeing the wicks up on the bottom and then it's re trying to, re you know, reject, go down, but then bias comes in, AMD just gets choppy because it doesn't have that strength to go up. So most likely it's going to stay choppy in my opinion. But let me go back to the daily interval here. And I also want to pop on the short volume percent data in just a second, but let's talk about a couple of things. So this is what I also talked about yesterday as if we break below 20 days moving average. This is a downside play to the levels that we have the significant level mark. We got that play. We just don't want to see it tomorrow get above 20 days moving average. That's also a confirmation that it's gonna con it may continue to the long side, right? Um, if it starts seeing another red candle, that may continues to give us some short plays also maybe to the level of 162 right over here. Marked by the red line, but you can remove the red line. The significant level will show up there. I'm just going to delete it here. Now, let's pop on the short volume percent data and let's see what's been going on with that. Yeah, no, not, well, okay, that's interesting. 38% short volume, that's high, 37 as well as high. So short sellers are trying to come in, guys, just so you know. Uh, today's data will come later. I am then 33 yesterday, but we do have some leading indicators building as 37, 38. I'm very sure this wick that formed the next day is due to because the short sellers tried to also cover. That's why we don't have high short volume, but we sold off. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah. Let's see if we continue to stay below 20 days moving average. That's something you need to be seeing as a bear. And as a bull, you need to see it above 20 days moving average tomorrow. But um, it's going to, in my opinion, it's going to stay either choppy or it's going to continue to dig well. <laughs> the thing is that I can go three directions, choppy up or down, right? Trade with the levels. Um, trade with the one of the plays already happened. I'm not going to open any new play for you guys here, but well, there's one potentially. I don't know if it's going to happen tomorrow, but there's potentially a one of the long play. Uh, stop loss in this case could be somewhere maybe here. That's why I was telling you to lower your stop loss on the short position as well now for the remaining 33% position. And if it breaks again above uh, 174 and 672 cents, then it's again a long play. Again, it could be tried for 185. So I'll leave this level here as well there. RSI is overbought, um, you know, and the price action is building as if it's going to sell off as well. And that's, well, we already got those leading indicators, right? I mean, that's why when RSI was getting overbought and we started to see the price action as well, starting to you know, from a lower high, these are your criterias to know that, okay, price is gonna go, at least intraday shorts play, swing plays, you can get out, right? Take the short place in those cases. Well, guys, <clears throat> this is it for this video. Um, I hope you found it helpful and valuable. If you're interested in my tools that I use on my videos, um, links are in the description below. I have my day trading bots and then also uh, my indicators universal stock watch and then i also provide real-time alerts of the wall streets which are price targets upgrades and downgrades and started trading and news and sentiment all right guys with that i'll see you in my next video take care guys bye